My son Rory fell in gym class on Wednesday. He cut his arm. He was dead on Sunday. He died from sepsis, something we had never heard of. At not one point during those few days did anybody mention sepsis to us, not his doctor or not anybody in the hospital. Sepsis is killing a quarter of a million Americans every year. That is a crisis. We're not looking for a cure for sepsis. There is a cure. What we're looking for is an awareness. Who knows what sepsis is? Raise your hand. Nice and high. No one. Sepsis is your body's response to an infection or an injury. The body's defense system goes into overdrive and blood pressure drops and the blood doesn't get pumped into vital organs like the heart or the kidney. Eventually these organs get damaged and they fail and you die. There was nothing on the books about sepsis, just infection in general. So I had to add that and um, we said right there, this is an opportunity. That's why we developed the education module so there are no more needless deaths from sepsis through lack of awareness. We want youth to know what sepsis is. The word I'm gonna to use to describe the way your body responds to bacterial infections is gonna be sepsis. So it's when your body stops working properly because of an infection. Most of the bacteria in the world doesn't even harm us. But sometimes there are a few species of bacteria that really make us sick. And over time, if you don't get something to get that bacteria in check, you're not gonna last. Children in schools today learn about salt, they learn about obesity, they learn about fatty foods. What they don't learn about is sepsis. The education module is an innovative five-part program that deals with the signs of infection with a focus on sepsis. As a doctor, you're gonna look at the blood test results. You should get enough evidence to be able to solve the puzzle and figure out what kind of an infection they have. Have you traveled anywhere lately? It's a very interactive program. Students learn through experiments, role play, and debate. We should have a protocol because even if it does... Young people are going to be the teachers, the doctors, the doers of tomorrow, and we want people to know that this is a very important health issue that's not being addressed and needs to be addressed, and uh, we want them to spread the word. These students are our tomorrow. Educating the kids is going to create a new generation of parents that will be able to identify sepsis. What happened with Rory on the night, he went into the hospital and he was a flashing red light. He had all the symptoms of sepsis, but they didn't know to look for sepsis. This program is now part of this school here in Queens, New York, and we're hoping that this program will be all over America um, in, the, in the not too distant future because sepsis is preventable. We need to talk about it as, as young students. We need to raise awareness. We need other people to know about this so they could catch the signs earlier to save more lives so people don't end up like what happened to Rory. Every year that goes by, there's a quarter of a million Americans, some of them as young as Rory, many of them go younger. Most of them could have been saved. That is why we need to get this program into every school in America. People don't have to die from sepsis. It is treatable and it is preventable and people need to know that. He probably would have still been alive if they knew about this, if there was awareness about sepsis. If he was here right now, he would be helping raise awareness about it. It is an amazing way to pay tribute to him. He definitely was a champion for underdogs. <laughs>